Yes. Uh, what we discussed in the theory part of this uh, briefing part of this experiment, uh, now we are going to do it. And you can see all this arrangement. This is the magnetic board. These are two pulleys. This is green color, uh, sorry, blue color is the holder, another holder here, mass holder. And these are the different masses. It's written there, you know, on the, on each lucky mass. If they are, you know, how many grams they have. For example, if I have this one, it's written here, 10 gram. Here you have 50 gram, 20, 20, and 90 plus 5, 95. So what I will be, uh, you know, uh, writing uh, on my data sheet, you see, I'll be writing uh, 95 uh, gram, like this one, for example. If you have this one here, I will write uh, their masses. For example, I will write 95 gram here. 95 gram here so both of them are 95 gram for example and then you have theta 1 and theta 2 you see from here this is x-axis up to here from here x-axis up to here this is T1, so this is theta 1. Right now, I have, for example, uh, just a minute, let me take the, it's uh, center to center exactly. And yes, now I have uh, 35. So theta 1, I have uh, 35. I have already written on the board in the previous lecture. And the theta 2, you see from, from here, x axis to here it is 145 for example right 145 right now corresponding length according to the scale scale is 10 gram equal 1 centimeter so it will be how much 95 divided by 10, 9.5 centimeter and 9.5 centimeter. And the unknown force I have already measured on the balance, it is 106.13 gram. This is what I have uh, done all the data before. All right. Now, once you finish measuring and writing down the data over here then the next step is to you know draw the graph on the graph paper okay so we don't need all these things now okay I do it like this one and what you will be making on the paper you will be having things more easy easier than me of course all right now what to do I'm using the markers so that you can see it very clearly if I use pencil so you'll be unable to see it clearly all right for example what you do you draw the horizontal line first okay here horizontal line like this one for example okay like this one and uh, the center here for example for the degree scale so this is your degree scale okay and then it's center here and this is horizontal line here and draw theta 1 first of all I say okay uh, theta 1 is uh, for example uh, how much theta 1 
35 degree, right? So 35 degree, I draw it like this one, 35 here. And the second angle, 145, it's all the way over here, 140, 145 here. Okay, right. What I do, I use in centimeter, so I have already done measured 9.5 centimeter. Okay, so this is from here, 9.5 centimeter. Okay. 9.5 centimeter from here up to here 9.5 centimeter okay 9.5 here okay I join it okay you will use pencil right okay this is T1 and this is your theta one and now again 9.5 centimeter over here 9.5 centimeter okay again you will be using pencil but have accurate reading for example okay so you will make it like this one this is t2 and this is theta 2 okay now you have to take in fact this t2 over here but again you have to make the same angle theta 2 over here so it means you have to make horizontal line here okay like this one and the center over here so 145 145 over here okay and the same centimeter 9.5 9.5 okay 9.5 here okay This is T2. Now finally, you have to uh, join these two, like this one, with pencil. I'm using these colors so that you can easily see this video. This is R. Now R in centimeter, I have to uh, write uh, down, you see here, it's uh, on this page. Okay, give me one minute. It's here. You see? This one. Length of resultant in centimeter. First I measure in centimeter, then I would write down there. This is 10 point, uh, 10 point around 6. 10.6 centimeter right now I write it here you see resulted in centimeter 10.6 this one and multiply by 10 we'll be getting 106 yes you remember the real was 106.13 uh, from the balance when we jump, and this is one that's very close, so we are doing good. Now, result angle between the resultant and T1. This angle you have to measure and write down how much there you have to write down. Now, you see, this is your degree scale. Let, bring it this line with this one, okay? Center here at the center, okay? Like this one, it's 50. Uh, 40, 50, 58, okay, this is 58 degree, right, 
And then you have uh, second method. This was the first method, first method, and uh, second method. You see, this is theta two. This is theta one. Theta two. Theta two minus theta one. You have this theta. This is theta. Okay, theta two. How much? One forty-five minus thirty-five. It is one ten degree. Right. This is how you do, do it. Then similarly, you will do uh, calculation for alpha, and uh, then you know third method and all these things which I I have already told you. So I think uh, this will help you a lot. And uh, please uh, watch this uh, video before coming to the class. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. Good luck.